All right, well, good evening to you. Taking a look at the temperatures for today, get up to Boulder Creek. We see temperatures hit up to uh, 68 degrees, but boy, oh boy, look at the uh, the start out temperatures in the morning in the 30s, and it was quite cool for a lot of folks working all the way from Santa Cruz at 40, getting to 70 degrees, eventually warming up. Watsonville getting up from 39 to 65 degrees. Then you take it right over into Carmel Valley. We had some patchy frost on some of the rooftops there today at 35 degrees, getting up to 70 over in Marina. The same thing with 38 degrees with frost on the rooftop, which was pretty much patchy then. Then you get the temperatures uh, locally here. You get to 61 degrees for Monterey, 67 as you got into uh, PG this afternoon. Now from the north end of the Salinas Valley stretching to the south, we started out with 37 degrees in Salinas to 70 degrees for the high today. And then we started to see the temperatures kind of gradually warm up as you went down all the way to King City with temperatures at 70 degrees for the high. In fact, in, uh, Greenfield picked up the, the high today down there, uh, 73 degrees. And you get into San Jose, 70 degrees there, touching 74 for Morgan Hill. Overnight temperatures were mostly in the 30s and 40s, getting from the 38 degrees to 41 to San Jose, and then 39 degrees to start in uh, Hollister, getting up to 70 degrees. Now, we're only going to cool you off as we go along, but take a look at today across the state. Yeah, these numbers, there was 89 degrees in Palm Springs, Palm Springs yesterday, down to 87 today, with uh, mostly 70s getting along from San Diego to L.A., all the way up to Santa Barbara, 64 at the airport at SFO in San Francisco, and then right around the states here, you can see all that cold air starting to spill right out of Bismarck, working right down into the central Plains getting all the way into St. Louis, 74 for St. Louis, 44 in Chicago. My goodness. All right, 67 for New York and all the way down in Miami, 76 degrees right now. In fact, you could see why this is all happening with a nice little upper level low here. A nice little comma tail is beginning to stretch out across the Midwest all the way down to Texas and right back down into uh, parts of Mexico. And we're seeing that line cross out of the Rockies and now continuing to pick up a little steam. And now it's gathering that moisture coming out of the Gulf and it's going to continue to just blast some of those folks with damaging winds. Of course, thunderstorm activity and and of course, the rainfall itself for us locally. Well, here comes the clouds. Yeah, there they come. They're starting to work in and eventually with a little bit of moisture in here. We'll see some partly cloudy to mostly cloudy conditions as we go through the night. And then eventually you might catch a little drizzle as well in some locations. But we could see a chance of rainfall coming in for tomorrow. And this is the part here. You can see how it lifts up right here. Well, high pressure still trying to be in charge and keep us sunny, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. We'll have the high clouds and the mid level clouds spilling over the top. And then eventually it all begins to break down the area of high pressure as this starts to slow down. Some colder air comes in and then it really starts to move the rainfall into our vicinity as we cross midweek. Here's a look down at the winds coming in out of the west. We'll see them at about 5 to 20 miles per hour, gathering some cloud cover coming in and they come up, then they come back from the southwest and continue to ramp up the cloud cover over our local mountains, bringing in some light rainfall into Santa Cruz just around uh, the 10 o'clock hours we get into tomorrow. And then you're going to see this continue in uh, to uh, much of the evening now for your evening drive time. Light rainfall starts to move into the vicinity right from Santa Cruz turning the corner at Davenport and Bonnie Doon and then working its way down to Big Sur, PG and in Carmel Valley and into Hollister. Well, that's the way it's going to play out for us. Eventually we'll see it slip down and we clear out a bit as the winds continue to pick up a bit and then eventually we see that second round of rainfall I told you about will work its way in for Thursday, giving us a chance of rainfall yet again. All right, well the winds themselves start off from the offshore uh, aspect then they're going to pick up from the southwest. You can see them continuing on. Not much in the way of uh, really gusty conditions. We'll see the winds not uh, more than about 30 miles per hour gusting up in the hills. Tonight we'll go with 40 to 53 degrees, increasing clouds, slightly warmer and light winds looking pretty nice for us. And then we go to tomorrow, we'll see 57 to 67 with sunshine and cool temperatures and a bit breezy. And this is how it all plays out for us. We'll go to 62 in San Francisco, 67 in uh, Mon um, excuse me, Mountain View. Then we'll touch around the uh, upper 60s. Uh, you get into San Jose, mid 60s by Morgan Hill, working down to the upper 60s again for Hollister. We'll see the temperatures also in Salinas from 67 degrees, getting all the way to 70. Most most of the overnight temperatures will be in the 40s, so we'll be slightly warmer in that aspect, getting into more of the low 60s, touching into the upper 60s, getting into Carmel Valley. So a good looking day uh, for, for part of the, uh, the vicinity of the inland areas, but not so much along the coast. We'll see cooler conditions again, holding on to 66 in Scotts Valley, 62 in Boulder Creek and on the beach as we go from the low to mid 60s. Your eight day forecast guides you in for a transitional period of cooler conditions and of course, chances of rainfall moving in, turning to showers after midweek through Thursday. Then we dry you out, get some sunshine, warm those temperatures up for Friday, Saturday, clear to partly cloudy skies, and then the rainfall returns yet again. So it's a bit of a roller coaster ride for our whole experience over the next eight days. You're going to see temperatures mostly going from the 40s back down to the 30s and then the 40s and 30s yet again. Erin? And the rain just keeps coming. And it keeps on coming. Keeps on coming. I know, we really don't need it in some <laughs> don't areas right now. Don't need it anymore, but we're not going to complain. All right, let's